us for a very long time. I will tell you right now, they're winning the cyber war. I don't think we're winning it. Do you? You know more than me. They certainly are winning the propaganda war, which uh, a lot of it revolves around the cyber domain. <laughs> Correct. And it also revolves around programmers, as we said earlier on the show. And that's why I say the great patriots, Bill Gates and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, can help in this war by giving us some of their best programmers to go to work for the DOD at full salary, mind you. That might cost Mark a, a little money, a few less undershirts, you know, goes a long way. He can pay them the money that they make at, and, and get the most patriotic, intelligent people working for him to work for the American people. I think that's a great idea, and I won't press you any further because I know you work within the bowels of these organizations, and I don't want anyone to out you based on your voice. You've been fantastic. You've been great. Sending you a copy of Government Zero. I hope that when Donald Trump becomes president, he makes you the head of cyber cybersecurity in somewhereville in the United States of America. I like this show. I really like this show. I like creative thinking. I like going into new directions. Here is a way of taking a, a Republican debate that's rather prosaic. Instead of just playing the sound bites and... Uh, you know, making believe I have righteous indignation about this or that and screaming and screeching. Here we are developing new ideas for something very real, which is survival. I love to watch shows on survival. I've always been interested in living off the land and survival. That's why my first book in 1972 was called Earth Medicine, Earth Foods, uh, about American, Native American methods of living from nature, so to speak. Which plants do what? This took thousands of years of knowledge to know how to cure yourself with a plant. And people who are cynical think that it's primitive medicine. They don't know in some cases it's superior medicine. So I've always been interested in what bark and what leaf and what root does things that could be useful for someone who's stranded in the wilderness or chooses to live in the wilderness. I've always been interested in survival uh, techniques. Well, right now, the number one problem is not roots and shoots. The number one problem is defeating them in cyber warfare. And something something I said much earlier, a couple of years ago, and I, I hope people understood what I was saying. Do you remember when I started to tell you about the astonishingly the astonishing history of the Arabs and how in twenty five years after the death of Muhammad they conquered so much territory through warfare, through hatred, through murder, through racism? through genocide. Remember I told you about the great days of the Arabs and how in only 25 years Muslim power grew so astonishingly in the same method, using the same methodology that they're using now, only now they have more power at their fingertips. Now they have TNT and the Internet. Think about what they did in 25 years just using sword and flame, rape and murder. And now think you have the same psychotic mindset, the same genocidal maniacs, generations later and now they have TNT and the internet to help them and think about what I'm saying to you and then you'll understand the danger we are in then you will understand that we are in a, in a war for our survival and then you will understand that we have a man in the leadership position called Barry Obama who most Americans who have a rational brain know is not doing a sufficient job to defeat them which is why he was forced to give a speech the other day about how fabulous his war is. We all know it's a lie. We all know he's a tin soldier. And we don't have to ask why. We don't have to ask how. The only question is, when is this going to change? When are we going to get serious in fighting back? The only candidate on that stage, I think, who really would do it is Donald Trump, frankly. I don't care whether he mangles sentences. I, I hear people say, well, he can't finish a sentence. He's... Uh, Got the wrong tenses. What's wrong with him? Is he stupid? All of that is nonsensical. All that matters is he's the only man on the stage that I trust will destroy them. And he'll destroy them by hiring the best people in the world, the meanest people in the world, the toughest people in the world to do so. Because we have those people in this country, only they have not been harnessed to defeat the enemy. Right now they're harnessed by Obama to defeat the American people and freedom itself. On that lovely note, let's move on to the callers. And my primary point, I'm going to keep running this one right to the end of the show. I may do it partly tomorrow again, which is how to win at cyber war. Stopping ISIS and China and all the other enemies of America. And I said we need a selective, selective service, which would draft computer experts into the military. And I've learned 
I've learned some things today. I hope you have as well. Okay? Let's go to some of the other calls and see if we can uh, learn a, a little bit more. Chris, on the Internet, welcome to the program. What's your opinion? Yes, Dr. Savage. And if this selective service were to go into effect, I think what would happen is the heads of these companies where you want to pull these employees from, I think they would buy their employees plane tickets and send them out of the country. And that would be a thanks for your, 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 your patriotism. In other words, you think that Bill Gates, to save a few bucks, would take them away from America so they couldn't be drafted? Exactly. So this way we couldn't get our hands on them. Exactly. That's exactly oh, what boy. I think. Yeah, no, I don't doubt it. I really don't doubt it. I have the same feelings that you do about these people. Despite the billions they give away, they, they, they get me sick because of what they've done to the American IT worker, how they're in favor of open borders, how they support clowns like Marco Rubio, who's simply going to bring in cheaper labor. I understand it all. I can see right through their act of being kind, gentle, and wonderful Americans with their billions of dollars to charity. I'm not so concerned about their charities. What I'm concerned about is using some of their tech workers to uh, win the cyber war. That's what I'm concerned about, Chris. I understand that. My thing is, I look at them as being so liberal, I, I see them packing up their employees and sending them to China to get them out of the country so we can't get our hands on them to use them. <laughs> well, there's a creative thought. You, I'm sorry you gave it away to Zuckerberg. I'll, I'm sure he's recorded it already. For in oh. case we do have to draft some of his top people to help us beat uh, ISIS, uh, maybe you gave him an idea about how to avoid it, Chris. All right, my friend. There's always an answer to every question, and they're not always a good answer, by the way. WABC, Joe, you've been holding a long time. Fire away. Yeah. Hi there. Okay. Now, first and foremost, they're already doing that on a voluntary basis, going after ISIS accounts and websites. You have some... You know, we know they're doing it on a selective basis, but we're losing the cyber war, Joe. They, we're losing the cyber war. That's the point. We can talk about this f from today until next year. We're losing the war. They're better at it than we are. The, you never underestimate the Semitic mind. That's what I was trying to say earlier with my history of the Arabs. I said, I, I try to get to a point when I didn't finish the point, when I was talking about the 25 years that they conquered so much territory. The Bedouin are some of the smartest, shrewdest people on the planet. They are in ISIS, and they're whipping us. So I have a solution. Go ahead. What is it? All right. Here is what you can do, for example. Now, you have hackers all over the world. A dollar in India is worth 20 over there. What you can do, start a contest called Cyber uh, uh, Contest and offer prizes, and we will s donate as well, your listeners. And... For a period of time, a time... No, 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 Joe, Joe, we don't have time for a prize and a contest, I'm sorry. We are at war. They're plotting as we speak. Many of them are listening to this program. They're laughing at you. They're laughing at you because they're not doing it based upon prizes. They're doing it to defeat us and to convert this nation to a nation of slaves that follow their psychotic Sharia law. My friends, it's far beyond that. I'm sorry I had to hang up on you because I have to move on. We have many good callers on the Savage Nation. KVOR Radio, Brian, welcome. What's on your mind? What's your opinion? Hello, how's it going? So uh, I was calling about um, your cyber warfare, and I'm calling because I think it should just be uh, mandatory that everybody serves two years in the military. Then the military can pick who they want. No matter what, when you go into the military, you get your first two years of school paid for, so to help all the liberals with their school. Let me tell you what's going to happen the minute you do that. There's going to be deferments for people who work for cyber companies. I can guarantee you there will be a cyber deferment that will be put in place because Zuckerberg and Bill Gates will lobby the President of the United States of America and some key senators on some stupid committee and say that we need a deferment for our workers because we're, we're already working uh, in, 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 uh, in a very important area, important for the American economy. We need them to be exempt from the draft. You know that'll happen as I stand here. You know that that's what they would do. There's no end to greed. The first thing you have to understand is that there's larceny in the hearts of most men. That's an old statement. 
But you also don't un- don't understand that as rich as these men are, there's no there's not enough money on the planet for them. They'll do whatever they have to do. Their machine will do anything it has to do to make certain that their profits go up, not down. And I don't think that that will work. It's that simple. K. Eugene in Oregon. Sally, you're a woman, thank God, joining the men on the Cyber Talk. Go ahead, please. Hello. Okay, so I can tell you as a programmer for over 20 years that most of the people I work with are not sophisticated enough to do the kind of work that you're talking about. Um, okay, many of the people... I love, wait, wait, I love it. I love hearing it. They couldn't learn, though? It, it, they could, but it, I think it would take so much time to get people up to speed. It, it's, it's vast. The idea of hacking, that word is just a, it's a really big, generic kind of word. And I don't think you can get a lot of people up to speed and kind of build the kind of Mm. All right, so let's forget the hacking side of it. What about the programming side of programming positive messages about the United States of America and, and about working in the U.S. military? What's wrong with having geniuses in programming do that? <laughs> I don't think we have that many geniuses. I've been around for, like I said, I've been doing this all of my adult life. So and most of them are really not that smart. They're just very computer savvy. If they're like idiot savants, in other words? Well, it's a skill. It's a trade, just like anything else. It's Interesting. So they're like idiots of Vance. They're good at something, but they don't know anything else. All right. I will send you a copy of Government Zero, which has some great ideas in it, but nothing about cyber warfare. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-BUY-C. It pays. It pays to ignore the debates. <laughs> I watched them for 30 minutes, and then I got the best sound bites from the debates today with my great team of Robert and Jim. And would bounce these ideas around. And I came up with today's show, which is how to win at cyber warfare, stopping ISIS in China through a selective, selective service, which drafts computer experts into the military. And I just put that up on my Facebook page, my real Facebook page. And I invite your comments tonight because I know I'm going to get some very good ideas. And then you get the normal, you know, the near do wells who always say negative things and my people take them down. You know, the people who have no ideas except anger and hatred. But I'd love some ideas on this, and you can go to my uh, Facebook page, which is, I have an official one, which is a me in the hat.